it's either going to be a fucking disappointment to a great show, or it's going to be a fucking slam and home run, and this show is going to be remembered as one of the best Marvel shows to date. Okay, now, we know that the kids are a piece of Mephisto's soul, and Mephisto got them, and Wanda did everything she could to get them back, to get her kids back. And if they don't introduce Mephisto in WandaVision, honestly, the show is going to be disappointing. I'm sure, yeah, you'll have the big baddie that got revealed. They will introduce why she did it, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? And then you will have Scarlet Witch pretty much have to accept the fact that she has to close the chapter of her kids and her husband and everything between and everything will go slowly back to normal. If that's the case, then... Honestly, the show is kind of disappointing because they played it safe. They didn't do what needed to be done in the show. And it really would fucking piss me off to an extent. Even though I probably will enjoy it overall and look back the entire series and how it all culminate. But Mephisto has to be in it. I'm hoping... He's the mastermind. He's the one that took the souls out of her kids and pretty much Wanda fucking loses it and just has a massive battle in the last two episodes. If they don't introduce Mephisto, then where the fuck are we going to introduce Ghost Rider? Because Kevin Feige wants to do Ghost Rider in the Marvel movies and the Marvel Universe in general, but yet again, if you don't bring Mephisto in here, where are you going to introduce fucking Mephisto? And how are you going to do the House of M storyline? Yeah, you could make it where, oh, we could have Wanda pretty much wants to bring back her kids just because she couldn't get over it, and she battled that one villain that was introduced in the recent episode, and X, Y, and Z, and a lead up to that, which could be a slam dunk on that, but yet again, it would be cheap, and it would be fucking, let's just say, lazy, and it would be, let's just say, Disappointing fans like us. I mean, we know why they introduce her, Ronica, whatever the fuck her name is. Don't give a fuck about it because they haven't done nothing with her in Scarlet Witch's comics or Marvel in general. She was always a helper in Scarlet Witch. Nothing else. To have her to be the villain for the show would be tooth to nail just to explain everything just to explain everything and it's gonna be a very much you're telling me this entire time she's been following wanda through all the marvel films through everything in between and she wants wanda for what reason exactly and they show the book they show that book they wouldn't have the book of Mephisto if they would not have Mephisto coming. Not unless they want to do Mephisto differently towards the comics than the live action adaption. We'll see. But yet again, I find that very hard to believe because we've seen so many signs of his presence in the Marvel Cinematic Universe through... They're Easter eggs from Loki. If you ever seen the Loki trailer, there's an Easter egg of Mephisto. Through the Easter eggs of uh, WandaVision, through the cock teases of all the fucking rumors and everything between on that honky dory crap of uh, Mephisto coming into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and everything on that, it would make sense to have Mephisto showing up in this show in these last two episodes they gotta do it because this show sets up the multiverse of madness and if it doesn't mm, and they have that one character that show up and she's the main villain 
Oh man, that's going to be a massive disappointment in the worst way. Granted, I probably still like the show overall, but I will be disappointed. And I honestly feel like you're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. You're telling me she's the villain? You better have a good reason why she's the villain. But anyway, we'll see how that's it goes. We'll see how it goes.